99 Jams. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Super Cindy, and live in the studio, we here kicking it with Conway the Machine. Yeah, yeah, it was good, it was good. Thank you for having me. No worries. Welcome to the 305. I appreciate it. <laughs> do you come here often? I do. What's I your do. favorite thing about the 305? What makes you keep coming back? Uh, the woman, the women and the weather, you know? That's a good mixture. A, yeah, you can't go wrong. <laughs> All right, so you said the women and the weather, right? <laughs> yeah. I love it. So for those of you that, uh, for those that aren't familiar, like what city are you repping? Like where do you come from? I'm from the east side of Buffalo, New York. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of family in Buffalo. Really? Yeah, I've been to Buffalo. Wow. Then crossed over to Canada, visited, and came back to Buffalo. A friend of mine used to live there. Wow, that's it, it was fun. Yeah. I had fun. There. The food is good as hell. Yeah, very, very. <laughs> What's your Some favorite thing? What's your favorite thing to eat in Buffalo? Probably uh, wings. Because that's what they're famous for, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, like, how long have you been in the music game, in the in the music business, I should say? Uh, probably like six years, something like that. It just six, seems like you've years. been in it longer. I don't know why. Why is that? Like, people think you're like an, a rapper that's been in it for a very long time, even though six years is enough. But yeah, um, I don't know. That's a great question. I, I really don't know why it seemed like that, but. You know, it's been a, you know, I'm just thankful to even be able to be in position to still keep doing it, you know what I mean, on my fifth, sixth year. So Definitely. hopefully I can, you know, continue on, God willing. Did you know, like, since you were a kid that you were going to get into music or is that yeah. something that happened? Yeah, that was, it was a dream of mine it's early on. Like, early, I was, you know, as, as young as I can remember, like, kicking freestyles and kicking raps and you know me rapping to my uncles and stuff like that. So I always, <laughs> always had this dream. I always wanted to be on the cover of a magazine and be like a rap star. So, you know, it worked out for me. Who were some of the artists that you like were looking up to at that time? Um, Ice Cube, um, Scarface. Nice. You know what I mean? And and you know, Prodigy, rest in peace. Oh, Prodigy, you know what I mean? Mob Deep, Nas. You know what I mean? The good ones, though. Yeah. Capone, I like your Noriega, taste. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. That's so awesome. Now, you have, um, you were with Griselda, right? Yeah. How was teaming up with Griselda and working with Griselda, your your crew, and having the success, Grammy nominated? Mm -hmm. I mean, how did that feel? Like, did you think it was going to get that big when you guys got together? Um. Yeah, I did, kind of. I, I definitely did. Not, not to be, like, you know, cocky. Be cocky. Arrogant. No, no, I wanna, you know, I'm a pretty humble guy, but I just had that confidence because I knew that, you know, we, we, we had something special, you know what I mean? Me, Westside, and Benny, you know, we, 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 got, we got what it takes. We got something real, real rare and real special. So it's like, you know, all we got to do is just make the right power moves and it's going to happen for us bigger than we thought, you know what I mean? Tenfold. That was always my my um, my um mind state with it. And that's what I always tell the bros. And mm -hmm. we just believe that much. We had that much confidence in it. Like, so, really ain't surprised, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, Westside, and Benny are actually family, right? Yeah. How was it working in a group with family? Like, what are the pros of that and the cons of that? Um... If there are any, I mean, maybe there's no cons, or are no, I, there? That's what I was just about to say. It's, mm -hmm. There's really no cons. It's like, it's, it's all, it's, it's good. It's good energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's good, good feedback. You know what I'm saying? We're able to learn from each other because we, we know each other so much and we're not afraid to critique each other and, and, and you know what I mean? Tell, tell each other, like, yeah, now nah, you can go, you can go a little iller than that. You can, you can do better than that. You know what I mean? You can say that line a little better, stuff like that. And that's so, needed in a group, though. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You don't want to be in a studio with a bunch of yes men. And, you <laughs> and know sound I mean? garbage. Or people who just don't have no creative energy anyway. They just mm -hmm. there to drink up your liquor or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and do a video yeah. that they were there hanging out with you in yeah. the studio type so, thing. So that's the great part about it. We was able to learn from each other and stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. recently, you know, we lost a, a real one, Takeoff, and you have similarities with that. You were they, they were also in a group of family. Your mm -hmm. group is family. You were a survivor of gun violence, yeah. and unfortunately, Takeoff wasn't. When you heard the news about Takeoff, like, what was your reaction? Did it hit home because you're so, 
you can yeah. connect with that story. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It, it, it messed me up. It definitely had me, had me, uh, I was like kind of lost for words at first. You know, mm -hmm. I woke up, I woke up to that, to that news. Like, you know, I wake up like everybody else and yeah. scroll Instagram or whatever and seeing that. And I'm like, nah, no way. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just sad, man. You know what I'm saying? The boy was mad young and, you know, it's just, you know, it's tough out here, man. It's like, it's been a tough year for rappers, period. You Definitely. know what I mean? We've been losing them left and right. And, you know what I mean? It's, it's really nonsense, man. It's enough out here for all of us. You know what I mean? We, we got to keep in mind that we inspire so many people. You know what I mean? Like, so many people look up to us. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, we got we to gotta keep that in mind. Whether we want to be in that position or not, we are. Because people love us in that regard. So we got a responsibility to kind of, like, you know, move different. Yeah, me. definitely. Not saying I know what that situation was even about. I'm yeah, just speaking, we don't know. You know, I'm just tired of seeing. In general, it. I'm just tired of seeing the same thing when I scroll to social media as another mm -hmm. rapper. You know, another peer. You know what I mean? Lost his life. You know, it's like it's for kinda, what? Kind of over it because it's forever. Like yeah. once they, just, it's like no coming back. Time out. It's like forever. Right. And, that's just devastating. Right. Just devastating to our community, our black and brown people. 100%. Like, it's just heartbreaking. 100%. You know, like, I have a show on 99 Jams um, that highlights local artists mm -hmm. in South Florida, in the yeah. state of Florida. Yeah. It's called Cosign. And I realized, like, throughout the years that I've been doing it, I realized that artists, these local artists, a lot of them are actually living what they are rapping about, being 100%. locked up, um, yes. just the hardships, just everything. And then it's like all of a sudden, not overnight, but through hard work, they become known and mm -hmm. famous and their music has put them yeah. on another platform. But they still got the same things when they was on the block, yeah. those same issues, those same beefs back in their neighborhood, yeah. those same stuff. And they, they, they talk to me about it and say they find such difficulty separating the two because even though they're trying to move on and separate, yeah. but they still got to keep their friends tight. They got to deal with the stuff that they were doing before. Yeah. How do you feel about that statement that I'm saying? Nah, I mean, it's, 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 it's tough. You know what I mean? It's definitely, you know, it's harder than, than it seemed. You know what I mean? It seemed easy. Like, you 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 know, you, you're famous now. You, you're getting nah, you money out. now. No. Like, it's... it's <laughs> You know, some of these guys, a lot of these guys, man, is like really, really outside, really tapped in. And you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, and, you know, you know, you got to, you know, respect the cold if you know what that, that life about. You know, it's cold. It's just, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they live by it. You know what I'm saying? And stand by it. So, you know, my advice to the young bros, man, that's doing their thing is just, man, when you when you're getting in this business, man, you just got to know. You know, you coming from the streets. You gotta know what to what to take with you and what to leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You gotta know what to bring with you and what to leave out, man. Because, you know, we you're doing business now. You know what I mean? You becoming a brand. You becoming, you know, bigger than the hood. You know, you know, mm -hmm. bigger than, you know, you you creating generational. You know what I mean? Wealth and 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 changing lives, whether you know it or not. So yeah, we gotta keep you here until the. And so the bros that's around, you know, that 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 keep their guys with them and all that stuff, man. You know, we gotta understand, man. Like, we even gotta. I'm saying we as like the guys that's around our team, our homies. Like, mm -hmm. we as the homies, man. We gotta we gotta protect the brand. You know what I'm saying? Protect the bag. That means that even part. if we gotta switch up how we move and everything, just to you know what I mean. Prevent a lot of this, you know. It's just, it's just things we can do a lot different, but we got to change the mentality first. You know what I mean? I love that you said that because now that the celebrity is a celebrity, the crew also has a responsibility as well. A, exactly, <laughs> to protect that mm -hmm. brand, not just being on go time all the time, but yeah. also, you know, being conscious of, like, what, what what you're doing or what you're saying or whatever. Because, like, bro, we don't need to be getting involved in that. Mm -hmm. Let them have that. We Let get, it go. We get money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't out, you know. But it's, it's, like I said, it's tough, man, when you when you live by, and stand by certain certain codes and, and, and morals. Like, you know, a salute, though, man. I wish them well. Same here. Let's let's brighten up the 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 atmosphere right now. Um, who is someone that you are so happy 
to meet? Like any celebrity that you ever met, a famous person that you looked up to and you actually got to meet them? You had any fan moment? Not like a group or anything, but you know, like if you met someone, you're like, yo, uh, it was a good thing to meet them. Rihanna. That'll work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. me too, if that would have happened to me. <laughs> right. What was the scenario that you met her? Um, I was at the Rock Nation brunch a couple years ago. Nice. And, you know what I mean? Uh, so my, she had her homeboy, brunch gear my on. Homie Chase, my homie mm-hmm. Chase, uh, you know, he 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 managed he managed the bros and uh he, he introduced us and stuff and um I actually got a picture and everything. Okay. But I ain't gonna lie, I was I was you know what I mean? I was fanboying out, but I kept it cool because I knew I had I was the best dressed in the brunch. Anyway. Sharp. You went to the brunch sharp. Yeah, I, I had what? it on. I had it on. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? He was nice. Yeah. And, and yeah, shouts to Chase for that intro. No, I need to meet Chase so he Chase. could introduce me. I, mean, I, I I owe you a gift for that, big bro. <laughs> so what's going on well, with you musically right now? Any projects you working on? What do you what are you pushing right now? What are you doing in Miami? Ah uh, man, I got a I got a couple of show. I got a show uh Saturday here. Mm-hmm. Um and uh where is that? Where is that, bro? The electric lady. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? In Winwood. Nice. Uh on the fifth. Um mm-hmm. and I'm you know, just working on some stuff, some music. Um in st- been been in the studio with Justice League. That'll you work. Know what I mean? Whipping up, working on this album. We doing an album together. Mm-hmm. And then I'm I'm putting out another album called uh Won't He Do It solo album. Working on the drum work compilation with my artists. You know what I mean? Love the genius, Jay Skis, Lucky Seven, Goose, by the way. Like That's that. Thing, OJ right there. Okay. My brother Fredo here. You know, I just brought the team. So they just cooking and we finishing up that album and stuff. We about to drop that. And um, yeah, we're enjoying this weather, you know what I mean? Okay, the 305. Yeah. 2023 is right around the corner. Yeah. You talked about the music that you're, you know, working on in mm-hmm. the lab doing. What are your hopes for 2023? Um, 2023, I mean, I'm just really focused on uh the drum work fest. We did uh, a drum work fest uh this year mm-hmm. in August, you know what I mean? It was the first one. And it was just, you know, it was a, such a major, major thing for especially the city of Buffalo because we don't really get a chance to have, like, concerts of that magnitude in our city. Yeah. So it was kind of like the festival feel, you know what I mean? Like some Rolling Loud type stuff, you know what okay. I mean? It was outside and it was, like, thousands and thousands of people and, you know what I mean? I just seen how much joy that brought the city and how, how dope that you. was and yes. how lit. Yeah, so it's like I want to do that every year. And I just been focusing on just trying to make this one this year, I mean, a 23, mm-hmm. even more bigger. You know what I'm saying? Even bigger than the first one. You know what I mean? We had like 6,500. I'm trying to get like 20,000 people out. You know what I mean? I'm trying to a just f- take it there. A few years from now, we're going to look back at this interview and then... The festival is going to be as big as Rolling Loud. Exactly. I declare. No? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. God willing. Yes. Thank you for that, though. So where can everybody follow your movements, Conway? At who is Conway on, you know what I mean? All the socials and at Drumwork Music, at all the socials, man. Every Everyone is the same. Twitter, Instagram, all that. And uh, who is Conway.com. You can just, you know, pick up some merch, see where I'm at, what city I'm at next. With shows I got coming up and stuff like that, new music, and just follow follow the wave. You know what I'm saying? Follow the movement, cause I said so, y'all. We're here Appreciate sitting with Conway, the machine. Right, thank you, man. Don't move, your girl Super Cindy said so. Ow.